And there were two. Eastleigh from the Blue Square South, AFC Totten from the Evo Stick Premier. Hampshire supremacy is at stake. Who will win Hampshire's most prestigious prize? Hello and welcome to a special Winnell Sports Week. AFC Totter may have won the Hampshire Senior Cup two seasons running, but easily are vying to stop it by securing their first cup victory in this competition. It's Hampshire Senior Cup final time. Of course, here on Winnell, I won't be doing this all by myself. I'm delighted to be joined by sports reporter and news anchor Jake Gable. Now, Jake has reported on both AFC Totten and Eastleigh over the last two seasons, and I'm sure his knowledge and expertise will uh, no doubt enlighten us all. A very good day to you, Jake. Thank uh, you, Aaron. Let's talk about this. Two great teams, non league yeah. teams in Hampshire, vying out for a piece of silverware. You couldn't ask much more than this, really, could you? No, absolutely. I'm sure we're in for a game of, of great entertainment. Aaron, you know, both teams really going for this. It's, it's their chance for silverware this season, and I'm sure we're going to be up for, uh, for quite a game. Quite yeah. a game. OK, so here we go then. It's Hampshire Senior Cup Final 2012. Who will win, Eastleigh or AFC Totten? Joining me at St Mary's in the commentary box is Jake Gable. Hampshire Senior Cup Final 2012. Eastleigh against AFC Totten. The well, last silverware is up for grabs here. This is Elphick. Easley happy to build up from the back. Holloway over to the captain, Jordan. Nelson. I'm just chucking his run in well, my he's line. Well, he's yeah. ran Aaron, he's through. And he's going through here. Has he got it? Has he got the pace on him? Yes, he has. He's beaten Davies. He squares the ball. It's a great chance for Eastley. And that is the opening goal of the Hampshire Senior Cup final 2012. Chris Flood opens the scoring. Brilliant worked goal from Eastley. Well, it's absolutely fantastic work there. Mitchell Nelson, we mentioned him earlier, Aaron, going down the right-hand side, and we said they'd have to pick him up, and they didn't. It was Callum Davis from Totten who let him go. Nelson there just bundling the ball across, and, well, it was, it was very close, but there you have it. Eastley lead, Aaron. Yeah, and the two defenders couldn't stop the ball from going into the back of the net. So there you have it. Eastley lead by Golton against AFC Totten. The replay coming in again, and, oh, well, he did very well there to slide in. Well, ASU Totten will be wanting to uh, get the ball upfield as much as possible. It's going to contend with a free kick here, and it's floated in, and it's a oh! Chance missed by oh. Wow, well, that really was a golden chance, Aaron. Should have done better there. That was a free head, and how costly could that prove for Eastley later on in this game? Unbelievable opportunity, and the goalkeeper flapped, and, well, poor today. Oh, there you so see they it. got away with that one. They're in the box. Lots of people in there. Matt Hammond again. This time it's cleared away. The shot comes in. The drive this is out. And here we go now. It's three against well, three. Well, they've here. got men over, this Aaron. A great opportunity for AFC Totten. And he's been put through here. It's a great chance for one Oh, ho, ho. And he's put it wide. Wow, the dearie Sherbourne. me. Sherbourne there. And he was one on one, Aaron. And he really should have done better. Just seemed to flap at it. And how pivotal could that be going into half time? Michael Green there chasing him back. He may well have put Sherbourne off. This is Coots. Davies. He's got Hill just running off him here. And Hill, that's a strong challenge by Michael Green. And oh, hello. Wow, this could be interesting. Handbags. Yeah, the referee may have to get involved here pretty quickly because both players are certainly at each other. And they're and all getting involved, Aaron. This is not good to see. Yeah, and Ryan Hill and well. Well the most well, the crowd the reaching think, for his uh, pocket. wants one of these players to be sent off and uh, Lyman has got a big, dis big call to make here. It looks like uh, Hill's shirt's been ripped. Mm. Looks like yellows for both, but Well, both Green men is the there. first one in the book. Yeah. He is going to be yellow carded, so Michael Green is in the book. And the crowd is shouting off for Ryan Hill, but I'm sure if he got a yellow, yep, yeah. Ryan Hill. Yellow for Hill as well, Aaron. Yellow. Well, Hill had to change into the number 17 shirt and he's got a free kick here. Perfect position, a four-man wall. It's like Barfoot. It's just pushed them over a little bit further. The shot cut. Oh, it's deflected, and it's just fizzed over the post. That's no, not and far away. That is not far away, Aaron. There's a couple of inches in that. Here come AFC Totten again on the ball. A bit scrappy on this near side. It's still on. The referee's allowed play to continue. It's still with Michael Charles. And he cuts inside. 
tried to get the dummy. And still they chase. And it's Jonathan Davies. And that could go anywhere. Oh, oh and tipped over. Well, it was great work in the build up there from Charles. Industrious kept hold of the ball well and uh, gave his team that opportunity. It's going to be a free kick. Hill's going to take this one. Five up. Onto the far side it goes. Oh, it's escaped everyone! Oh, and a glorious chance spurned there from James Coots. Here we go again with AFC Totten. They certainly played better in this second half. Now onto this far side. It's a lovely one too. It's a lovely chance. Oh, deflected post. Chicken chance. It hits the post again. Jonathan Davies. Well, it's that man Davies again causing problems. Long frame into the box, head of the way. Oh, pause on the shot by Magnum. Oh, it got head on the way through in the second chance. Oh, 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 oh. shades of Gascoigne Euro 96 there, Aaron. A matter of inches away. Here's Magnum again. Well, one goal would win it now for Eastley. And here's the man to set the wall up. Here's Chris Flood. And it looks like. Uh, Mitchell Nelson's making a run into the far post. He's got a great chance for two. He's free. It's over the line. It's over the line. It's definitely over the line. And Eastley yep. has scored the second goal of this cup final and now lead ASC Totten by two goals to nil. They've charged forward. It's a great counter attack. Ball played out. And it's that man, Mitchell Nelson, again. Left unmarked to the far post. And ball's played back here. And Eastley wow. have won the Hampshire Senior Cup final for they the first time in their history. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations to Eastley. They've deserved it tonight. Played well, kept the ball, got the ball forward quickly. They've been great going forward. And spare a thought for AFC Totten. They've played their part here in this final. The party in Eastley and the party in St Mary's has already started. But there's the AFC Totten players come and collect their runners up medals. Well, none of, none of those players will want to be getting one of those medals, Aaron. You know, they've come this far, they want to win it now. But it just wasn't to be for them tonight. They collect those, their medals. There's Mitchell Nelson there collecting his, that's Elphick. Gary Holloway behind him, and so on. And as the crowd roar with expectation, I'm sure Tom Jordan will duly deliver. Eastley are the champions of the Hampshire Senior Cup. Well, there you have it. Eastley have won the 2012 Hampshire Senior Cup final by beating AFC Totten by two goals to nil. Now, I'm joined here by Jake, um, who was alongside me, with me at the game. Now, let's talk about the post-match analysis here. There was yeah. one nice little battle on the right-hand side of midfield for EC that really kind of excited yes. me. Let's talk about this. Absolutely. Well, it was the, the battle between Mitchell Nelson on the right-hand side for Eastley, yep. Callum Davis on the left for Totten. This is the opening goal. Now, you're about to see Nelson, the right back, coming into your shot now. There he is in the red boots. Now, he plays it forward. Now, Callum Davis, the left back here, really should be keeping track of Nelson, but the ball's played in over the top, as you see. Ball. It's a very good ball. Nelson keeps his pace, keeps his strength, plays the ball across goal, and it's bundled home. Now, for me, Callum Davis there, the Totten left back, he should really be keeping tabs on Nelson, but Nelson's pushing him back into his own half, and he can't get out. To be fair on Davis, do you think that was a foul on the edge of the area? No, Aaron, I, I think he should be standing up there and, and making himself count. Now, yeah, what about this man here then? Well, it was a tale of two Davies really for, uh, for AFC Totten. Obviously Callum, the left back, but this boy here, Jonathan Davis, impressed me throughout the whole game. He's got touch, technique, pace, awareness. Look at him go. He's the uh, creative hub for them. Now, I'm just going to take this action here and stop it just there. Now, if we wait for the pass to come through here, here it comes, perfectly weighted ball through to Nathaniel Sherborne, and this was a turning point because Sherborne's fired wide, and if he puts that one in on the stroke of half time, it's one all going in at the break, and that's a massive psychological difference, I think, for mm. AFC Totten. Yep. And no matter what Davis did, he didn't score, but Eastley got, got their second goal, and that pretty much killed the tie off, didn't it? They did indeed, and it's that man, Nelson, coming in again at the bottom of your picture in the red boots. Keep an eye on him. There's the number three for Totten, Davis. Not keeping an eye on Nelson again. Nelson's free at the back post, and it's bundled home 2 0 to Eastley, and that's game over. And at that level, I think Callum Davis should really be doing a lot better. But, but hats off to Mitchell Nelson. He's my man of the match for that. You know, absolutely electric all game long, Aaron, down that right hand side for Eastley. Jake, thank you very much for joining us. No worries. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, that's it for when all this footballing season. And what a way to bow out. But remember, you can continue to watch award-winning new sport and features by logging on to winnall.co.uk. But from Jake and myself, it's goodbye.